This is what you call the butt end of a tiger crossing. We're driving towards the eastern zone of Kazaringa National Park. It'll be our third drive in a park, but our first in this zone. This zone is said to be your best chance for tigers, although seeing a tiger in Kazaringa is very difficult to do. But out there in the field is something that has been very easy to spot, more Indian rhinos. With these large rhinos always wanting to eat grass, it makes them an easy target to spot while on safari. I feel like I just might see all 2,400 or so rhinos in this national park. Up ahead, I thought I got a glimpse of a jungle cat, but it turned out to be a macaque. You can find those silly monkeys all over, both inside and outside the parks. Here's something you just want to see inside the park, and that is the tree all scratched up by tiger claws. This is a way they can mark their territory. It would be great to see an actual tiger tonight. So off we go with our bird eyes peeled for any sign of those amazing felines. But you always want to look around and appreciate any wildlife you find. Like these bar-headed geese. And this nice large herd of water buffalo. While stopped, I saw some vegetation moving but a tiger would be too careful to be that loud. It's just some hog deer. This rhino has the right idea of a mud bath. It'll help keep the insects away and it also acts as a sunscreen. But we're currently having a very cold front this week. So you don't have to worry about getting a heat stroke too much here. It seems like a lot of variety of animals are out tonight. Check out this little squirrel. And there is my good luck charm, the kingfisher. He's looking over the lake. And another bird with a good view is this gray-headed fish eagle. And as we drive on, we go right under one of my favorite birds, the great hornbill. It's my first time seeing one of these massive birds in the wild. Their five foot wingspan is impressive. With a weight between four and eight pounds, they are the heaviest hornbill of Asia. But as large as they are, I'm having a hard time trying to film them through the trees. Out there in the open is a baby rhino with its mother. Little ones like this make the park's future look very promising. And while watching them, a big sound comes out of the forest. Not from a tiger, but from an elephant. We are noticing some animals moving away from the tree lines. Could it be a tiger in there? This park has over a hundred tigers and their population is slowly rising, but they are very rarely seen. And as we watch that baby rhino mock charge's mom, we hear a few alarm calls. We decide to sit still and wait it all out. All eyes are on alert for any sign of a tiger crossing. Seeing a tiger here will take off a lot of stress of trying to see one in the next park, Grant Denmore. As we pick out what we think will be the perfect spot, we hear another alarm call. It's now all a waiting game. After a while, another jeep joins us, but unfortunately, parks a little in front of us. And after a long while, the waiting seems to be paying off, as there is a tiger a tiger in Kazaranga Park, and someone's arm. But what a shot. I did not think I was going to be lucky enough to see a tiger here. I can't wait till I get back home to Chicago to tell everyone. But for now, we'll have to mention it to these two guards, so they know a tiger is near. And on our drive out, we see an amazing sky. At the lodge, they had to change the sign, as after a two week drought, someone has finally seen a tiger, and it was a great time. great time that I had to celebrate with a dessert. For more information about the animals seen in this video, please read this video's description. And as always, thanks for watching.